Assalamu alaikum, 6 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Farzana Khan. First, the headlines. President says vibrant Pakistan Turkey relations are guaranteed to peace and prosperity of the region. Prime Minister reviewed progress of work on Karot hydropower project near Kahuta today. Six laborers were martyred by unknown terrorists in Legitok area of Kharan district in Balochistan today. In occupied Kashmir, people staged forceful demonstrations in various districts today to register protest against surge in killings and arrests by the Indian troops. And now the news in detail. President Mamnoon Hussain says vibrant Pakistan-Turkey relations are a guarantee to peace and prosperity of the region. Talking to Turkish Chief of General Staff, General Hulusi Akar, in Islamabad today, he said Turkey has always supported Pakistan on Kashmir issue. The president expressed his pleasure on close cooperation between the two countries in different fields, including defense, which will further grow in the coming days. Pakistan unconditionally supports Turkey's stance on the issue of North Cyprus. He praised the leadership of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and said that he always takes a just and fair stand for the resolution of challenges faced by the Muslim Ummah. The Turkish chief of the general staff said Pakistan has always supported Turkey in difficult time for which Turkish nation is grateful to the people of Pakistan. Prime Minister Shahid Khakan Abbasi visited Karot near Kahuta this afternoon and reviewed progress of work on Karot Hydropower Project. He was briefed on the project. Karot Hydropower Project is a 720 megawatt run of river project being built on Jhelum River. Karot Hydropower is a priority project of China Pakistan Economic Corridor and will create job opportunities for 2,000 people. The Senate was informed today that 100 billion rupees have been proposed in the budget for construction of Diamir Bhasha and Dasu Dams. Speaking on a point of order, Minister of State for Finance Rana Mohammad Afzal said construction of Kalabagh Dam should not be made a taboo in view of the serious water shortages faced by the country. Participating in budget debate, Mohammad Ayub voiced concerns over rising burden of debt on the country. He said we need to adopt austerity measures and focus focus on growth in order to turn the country into a developed one. The lower house also continued debate on budget 2018-19. Taking part in the debate, leader of the opposition, Sayyid Khurshid Shah, said parliament is a supreme institution and everyone should work to maintain its sanctity. Sahabzada Tariqullah jamaat e islami said finance minister Mifta Ismail is a qualified professional and has good grip on financial matters, but we have strong reservations on the budget he presented. In Balochistan, six laborers were martyred while another was injured when some terrorists opened indiscriminate firing on them in Legitok area of Kharan district. In occupied Kashmir, people staged forceful demonstrations in Sirinagar, Shopia, Pulwama and other areas today to register protest against the surge in killings and arrests by the Indian troops. Under the banner of joint resistance leadership, people took to the streets in Nohatta, Hedarpura, Lal Chowk and other areas of Sirinagar and held anti-India demonstrations and rallies. The demonstrators were holding placards with slogans demanding end to killings, arrests and other brutalities of the Indian forces in occupied Kashmir. China and the United States have agreed on some issues in their week-long economic and trade consultations in Beijing. Chinese Vice Premier Lin He held candid talks with a U.S. delegation led by the U.S. President's Special Envoy and Treasury Secretary Stephen Manchin on economic and trade issues of common concern. The two sides agreed to resolving relevant economic and trade issues through dialogue and consultation. In Myanmar, 17 people were killed when a landslide hit a jade mine near Wak Khar village in Kachin state today. And finally, the weather report. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. 
However, rain and thunderstorm is expected at isolated places in Malakan, Hazara, Peshawar, Mardan, Rawalpindi, Lahore, Kuchawala, and Sargodha divisions, Islamabad, Upper Fata, Gilgit Baltistan, and Kashmir. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk.